Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I am here with um, one more reading for the night, right? Um, and then I'm going to go to bed because I am so tired, you guys. But yeah, I just wanted to check what's going on behind the scenes um, during the today, um, August 8th. That marks um, the... Lionsgate portal. Thank you. <laughs> the Lionsgate portal starts today, you guys. Um, and I'm actually really jazzed about it because it honestly, it feels so good to let go of the negative energy. You know, that's what we're all doing here. Um, I, but there's a lot of endings, a lot of change in the energy. And this is your person and the energy around them is changing really fast in a way that they don't know how to cope with right now, okay? Um, also, I do want to mention I've got two other channels out here on YouTube, right? I've got this channel and I've got a Lightworker channel for Divine Feminines and Divine Masculines. And I, I just started a Virgo only channel. And if you're interested, there's links that you can follow in the description box below. Okay. So anyway, yeah, what I'm picking up on here, and thank you everybody for all of the love and support. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I feel like there's a masculine energy that, that joked about you, made fun of you thought that you were a weirdo, okay? This is you. You're highly intuitively lit. You're not from around here, you know? You're, you're from out of this world. I'm getting the sense that you are, in fact, a divine being, okay? With um, otherworldly knowledge, hidden knowledge, all right? Very intuitive, psychic abilities, and I feel like um, you stuck to your guns, even though this person was making fun of you. If you hold the cards like this, you know, they're making fun of you. And you're like, I don't even care. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. I'm going to be me. I know, um, I know that I have um, abilities that I can use to help other people. And I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. You know, I also feel like you may have made some predictions in the past about what's about to happen in the future and all of it is happening and i feel like now this person is like absolutely amazed because you were totally correct all of your predictions were absolutely spot on correct everything you predicted was true and accurate and it's actually happening in this person's life well they're not they're not laughing anymore um, their jaws are dropping. They're actually like in amazement at the fact that you were spot on about your predictions, okay? So you're really, um, you're being vindicated basically behind the scenes. Whoever laughed at you in the past, their jaws are dropping now. They're absolutely shocked, okay? Also, I'm getting the sense that if you notice there's another face and another spirit and an orb here in the background. This person's being haunted by your spirit guides. You know why? Because they were laughing at you. They turned you into a joke. Okay? And I feel like um, you, like I said, you, you, you stood your ground. You know what you saw, right? Um, intuitive people, right? Uh, we pick up on visions. You could have all the clairs, okay? Um, you know, clairvoyant, clairaudient, right? Clairsentient, right? You pick up on, on all of these messages from the divine. And you put them out there for other people to help and guide other people, okay? And I feel like you, you um, know what your abilities are and you trust them. You trust the messages that you're given from the divine. And so, yeah, you were very confident. Even when people were laughing at you and making fun of you, you still stood your ground and you kept doing what you, you were doing with confidence. And I'm telling you, every single thing that you predicted has happened exactly the way you said it would. Okay, you were right 
about everything. You were right about everything, collective. And so this person, now they're in awe, and they're being haunted by your spirit guides, your ancestors. They're coming in here to whoop this person's butt. They were once very arrogant. Look at them, very smug, right? Haha, ha, you know, the collective is a big joke. Yeah, not anymore, okay? Now their life is going down the tubes. Um, whatever you said was going to happen to this person is happening. And now they're like, oh my gosh, what have I done, right? What have I done? What was I thinking? I feel like this person has been watching you this whole time under a microscope, right? Maybe picking apart and criticizing everything you said and did. Yeah, but everything that you, um, that you knew, all of that was messages from God. And I feel like this person's under major judgment as well, okay? Yeah, and here you are, very spiritual. Um, they're realizing exactly who you are. This person's realizing, man, that you are no joke. Um, they should have never laughed at you and made fun of you the way that they did. I'm sorry, I just bumped into my camera. Now this person is scared. Look at them. They're jumping for the, for the screen door here. They're scared in their own home, being haunted by spirit. And they know it. So some of these people, whoever this masculine is, I don't even think they want to be home. I think they hang out at a bar. They don't want to even be home anymore, okay? And it was all because this person wouldn't stop turning you into, like, um... They, tr they wanted to maybe make you feel like the town laughing stock, okay? But now it's them. They may have even thought that you were doing some kind of spell work. Um, or there were some other people here doing some kind of spell work around this person. Yeah, I feel like this whole group was laughing at you. There's three feminine energies and your masculine that was joining in on it. Possibly doing some kitchen magic here, getting together, casting some kind of spell work. Here's the thing, whatever they did, whatever spell work they did is coming right back to them. They could have even unleashed something here and now it's coming in and haunting them. They're scared to be home. And meanwhile, you're kicking back in your chair here like, I knew all this stuff was going to happen. I told you so. This is what this is. I told you so. I knew I was right. I was right. Okay? <laughs> yeah, you were right, all right. There's some kind of photo evidence that somebody's getting of something here. Watching you work. That's what they're doing. They're watching you work, and I feel like you're a light worker. That's what you're doing with work here. This is you, um, I feel, doing your spiritual work. You could have your own platform out here. I'm really kind of sensing this could be like star energy out in the public eye. The, all these people do is watch you, okay? And now they're taking you way seriously now. All right, they, they, you were a joke then, but oh no, they can see this is no joke. This is no joke. All right, what can you show me? I feel like you were picking up on warnings and signs and visions and uh, of this person's future. There's somebody here that's very upset, but you know, the feeling that I'm getting when I laid this card down is that they've done some kind of spell work here, some dark magic, and I feel like um, they're starting to go crazy. I feel like this is a karmic individual that's starting to get angry, go crazy, because in the in intuitive messages that you're picking up on, I feel like you're exposing this person for everything that they've been doing, okay? And they see you as a threat here. Yeah, you're making, now you're making them look like the clown. 
I feel like, um, yeah, see, there, they could have even tried to do what you're doing here, but it's just not the same. They're feeling like a clown, like a fool. Okay. So they're angry because they can't do what you do. They're angry because the spell work hasn't worked. It's coming back on them. They're upset because something that you're picking up on is exposing them. Okay. Yep, here you are and you just keep getting messages. Like you know what's going on in the background already, Collective. You are so intensely intuitive, I'm telling you. And you're putting it out there for all to see. See, here's the, here's the thing. Um, you're exposing somebody here. Oh, totally. Someone could actually end up being homeless because of this, because of the messages you're putting out. They could get booted out of a home situation. They could get in some kind of trouble for something. Both masculine and karmic energy are watching you. You're doing something on the internet. You're a spiritual healer, a spiritual teacher, and you're glowing. You're very masterful at what you do. Okay? You're reaching all of these people worldwide, and it's making the, it's, not only is it exposing them, but it's making them now look like the fools here. Okay? I feel like they want to shut you up. These people here, they want to silence you now. You know, they're not laughing anymore. Now you're scaring them. You're worrying them. Because you're right. And now they want to shut you up. All right, so let me see. Yeah. What is this? There's a masculine here. I, I, somebody wants to come and propose to you. What is this? All of a sudden, you know, they were hating on you. They turned you into a joke. And now all of a sudden, there's a masculine that wants to come in and propose. Oh, that's why. It's because you're about to get an, a love offer from someone else. Meanwhile, you know why? It's because the karmic that they chose over you is going crazy. They've done too much spell work. It's all coming back on them. They're starting to get um, some mental health issues. I'm, I'm sensing there's a karmic out here who's ready to snap. This is like having an emotional breakdown. Okay? They're, they're feeling very threatened by the messages that you're putting out. They're being exposed possibly every single day. And now this masculine is realizing just how crazy this karmic individual is. I feel like there's some kind of mental health issue going on with this karmic. And it's, it's in part, it's due to the spell work they, they've put out. Um, and it's due to you, um, the pressure of you exposing all of their secrets. So yeah, this karmic is losing their mind. And the masculine now realizes that they chose the wrong partner. They chose poorly here. Now they see you out here living your best life on a glow up, beautiful, enjoying yourself and meeting new people. And you're about to get swept off your feet by somebody new and they don't want that to happen. Now this person wants to turn around and choose you. I feel like one of the things that you're exposing out here is the fact that this karmic has somebody else on the side. Okay? They're, they've been playing dumb. All right? Um, yeah, possibly have a family going on, so, or a new baby maybe. They've been playing dumb. Um, I feel like the masculine may know that, um, or may have picked up on the fact that this karmic is cheating on them, but... Um, They've been pretending, right? But if you look at this picture, there's two straws here. And this word behind it says two. So this, this karmic has been cheating on this masculine. That's one of the things you're exposing. You're also exposing the spell work. 
Um, and you're exposing how this masculine is feeling about you. It's making this karmic nutty. I mean, they're, 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 yeah, nutty. I'm telling you, there's so much rage and so much anger and so much mental instability here. Like now this karmic at this point, they're turning dangerous. Okay. They're turning dangerous and um, it's like they want revenge and you're the target. Okay. All right. What can you show me? But man, they were all laughing at you before thinking it was a joke. Look at them all now. Look at them all now. This karmic is about to lose this masculine because they're being exposed. They're doing all they can to keep them there. Okay, but yeah, death card. This is over. This is over. So I, I feel like the karmic is very panicky. Um, yeah, look, and I feel like, too, your person may even feel very trapped where they are because this karmic wants to harm you, I feel. So this masculine stays there possibly to try to protect you, to try to keep the peace. Because this karmic literally wants to bring you down or hurt you or harm you. They want to fight. And this is somebody who's literally losing their mind here. They're becoming dangerous. I said that, right? They're becoming dangerous. Yeah, they want you gone. They want you gone, collective. Okay? And so I feel like um, there's a masculine here that they're staying with the karmic just so that um, the karmic doesn't come towards you to hurt you. All right? They know what this karmic is capable of now. They're, they're seeing them freak out more and more every day. Okay? They're freaking out here. And then it gets worse. Right? Then it gets worse. Now it's getting even worse. Do you see how it's like accelerating? Okay? I look at them going nutty because you're making them look like a fool. You're making them look like a clown. I said that. And everybody's watching you. Everybody's seeing it. Okay? You've got really nothing to do with these people now. I feel like you're disconnecting from from both of these people from this whole entire toxic situation but this karmic still blames you because of your intuition because your intuition is so lit right now literally everything that you've said that they've made fun of has happened every little thing it's almost like you can see straight into their life and what's going on in the background somehow uh, it's, this karmic is also getting exposed for just wanting um, money from your person, right? Um, to support a child. Or they could have possibly tried to use a child to trap your person in. Okay. Yep, they keep pulling them back in. Having more babies. More karmic babies. You know, um, some of these children may not even be your person's children, okay? They just want your person for money. So they use the children, right, to get um, financial support. I'm getting the sense that you have somebody new coming into the picture here. And, I, and I'm feeling like um, this karmic's going to be even jealous of that. Um, it's waking this masculine up. They're getting their, um, they're getting inspired by you. They're getting their creativity, right? Um, I feel like they're starting to pick up on intuitive messages as well. You're waking this masculine up. And they're seeing all of this. Okay, they're shocked. They are. They are shocked. Because... They've never seen anybody who can do the things that you can do. Okay? 
their laughter, it went from laughing at you to their jaws dropping the floor. Everything you said is true. Everything you said was going to happen is happening exactly the way you said it would. Yep. And now their life is starting to completely unravel everything. Yeah, this person's being spiritually led now. So I feel like that, you know, this is the things that you have done and the messages that you've put out there has really woken this person up. Okay, they are going through an awakening and they're realizing all of this, but now they feel very stuck in the situation because they're trying to protect you from a karmic who is now losing their mind. Okay, and this karmic wants to hurt you. They want to do something to harm you. Um, let me get their emotions on this. Yeah, but they're not laughing at you anymore, though. <sighs> yeah, they're not laughing. Envious, yeah. See, this is this masculine's energy. They know that you're about to be approached by someone new, or maybe you've already met someone new. <clears throat> they could be seeing pictures of you and this new person on the Internet for someone, for somebody out here. But yeah, I feel like they're, um, they're jealous, they're specific, uh, suspicious, they're feeling very possessive of you, but they can't reach you right now because they feel like they need to protect you. All right, so how else is this person feeling? I, they could even be stalking you. This is all of this exposure, okay? Oh... Oh, they may even bust this karmic cheating because it's this karmic that's, that's being exposed here. Oh, maybe that's the photo evidence as well that they're getting. Oh, man, yeah, that look at this. Their whole life is getting turned upside down right now. Yeah, and this is one of the reasons why they're shocked. You could have said something to this person years ago. This karmic's going to cheat on you. You're going to be sorry, right? Um, and now it's happening. This, they're absolutely shocked. It is, it's literally turning this person's life upside down. Sorry about that, Collective. I, my camera cut off. I don't even know where it cut off. Um, ooh, yeah, very discouraged. Yeah, they're protecting you from this crazy karmic, and they don't think they're going to be able to get out of the situation. I feel like this person has tried. They've tried to find a way out here. But, yeah, see, there's that karmic with the baby. I'm telling you, they're stuck where they are, collective. Even if they were able to get to you, they're still in a situation that, that um, involves children or a new baby or a pregnancy here, okay? So this person feels, number one, they feel obligated to stay um, because of that responsibility. But at the same time, like I said, I feel like the biggest factor here is, the, is um, that the karmic is losing their mind and they want to hurt you, okay? And you are living a life of peace, and they are living without you, completely uninterested in their life. This is somebody who's, like, they have no, they have no spark for life right now. Like, they, they hate it where they are. They're absolutely miserable. Like, this person is barely, it's like they're not even experiencing living. They're just sitting there and surviving, really, is what it is. Like, they're not happy with anything. They're, they, they hate it where they are. They don't want to be there. They don't want this karmic. They're, on, they're only wanting you now. Um, 
Yeah, and they're realizing here that uh, they're seeing everything clearly. Everything is being exposed. The cheating, the cheating karmic, the baby, everything. And they realize that the one that they actually want here is about to meet somebody else. Um, yeah, that home situation, it's going to crumble here. It's coming down. Um, everything is, is coming out into the open. Uh, they're not laughing at you anymore. They're, they're completely um, amazed by all of this. They're being haunted, too, in the background by your spirit guides for making fun of you. And they're having to protect you from a karmic that um, can't control herself or her temper. So let's see what this person wants to say. That They've definitely learned a lesson here. I'm so in love with you. You are so perfect to me. I get scared for being honest with you. See, they're scared to come and approach you because of this karmic. Um, be patient because I'm afraid of commitments. The thought of you drives me crazy. What does this person want to say? There's no one else thinking about you all day. Boy, this person, I'm telling you, they went from turning you into a joke to thinking about you nonstop and getting their karma. Um, I know what you mean to me. I'm ready to be with only you now. I want to take care of you the way you've always taken care of me. No other compares to you. Yeah, <laughs> they can see they made the, the wrong choice now. Okay, but now it's too late, I feel, for this person because they are stuck bad. Anyway, collective, listen, that's what I've got for this quick reading. I do hope this helps, but I am so tired. I have to go to bed. Anyway, I love you all so much. Thank you so much for joining me for this. And um, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you like this vibe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.